Hi everyone, this is another video in my series where I trash and hate on my hero's gear. So today's lucky hero is Strybog, and I actually have a code for this, so let me... Sorry, wrong screen. Let me show you the code. It is bear underscore Strybog underscore gear. And as you can see, you're going to get a blue scroll and some energy. So hopefully that's going to be really nice for you. I'm really happy to be able to offer this code, especially as the boost hero is blue this weekend. So now let's get into it. And I am going to have a disclaimer, which is I actually have two Strybox. And I'm going to obviously hate on the uh, one that is less well built um so let's get into it and this time i i will talk about a couple of positives first because i do want to say the purpose of this series is to show how some of the hero builds can be improved when i hate on them i'm not saying they're completely awful because I do try to make an effort with each of the heroes that I've geared. What I want to point out is cases where some of the individual gear pieces are not very good. So it's going to be a deep dive into why they're not very good, what could be better. I am in no way saying that this build is trash. I'm saying it's trash compared to what I know I could do. And in this case, I can compare directly to my Strybog 1. This is Strybog 2. Um, so the positives, I would say that this Strybog has a rather decent speed. And by the way, maybe a year and a year half ago, my Strybog would actually have looked like this and I would have been reasonably happy. So I would say this speed, 353, is very okay, especially without a speed relic. And a lot of this speed you're going to see is going to come from the Swift set. So it's quite a nice use of the Swift set here. I also see the Guardian set, which is going to increase the defense. And that is playing a little bit of a role here too. What I don't like about this build is the very low HP and defense, I would say below 30k HP and 3k defense is squishy. Now, obviously, I haven't fully awakened this hero. And if I would awake him, you see he gets a significant boost to his HP in particular. So obviously, bear that in mind, if I would awaken him, he would probably, let's assume be in the 35k range and that would be a very big improvement to this build so now let's uh go into the specific gear pieces i don't think um for this kind of fast build there's anything else in the stats that i want to comment on so let's go into trashing these individual pieces of gear and the reason i want to trash them is they are really mediocre so this first piece the weapon has two rolls on speed and that's very good but if you look at the other substats they're not really what i'm looking for the hp flat is okay but ideally i would want hp percent defense percent res percent something like this which is going to boost the tankiness of the hero better and moving on to the next piece um by the way i haven't upgraded the helmet or the shield to 15 so that's going to impact the numbers a little bit for the helmet a little bit more so i'll gain a thousand more hp and for the shield i'll gain around 80 more defense but what we can see is again i'm not really 
getting good substats for the pieces. So here I've got a epic relic and I've got three rolls. I've got one roll on speed, one roll on HP percent. That's good. But the roll on attack percent, I don't really need. So I wish that roll on attack percent had gone to speed. So that would give me two rolls on speed, one roll on HP, and I would have wanted another defense percent substat or flat HP substat or res substat. Looking at the shield, we see again, this is really kind of going towards one substat and that can be what happens when you try to push one stat in particular. In the case of this drybog, I tried to push the speed. So I got the speed of 353 but it came at the cost of other subsets because I only pushed one. And here you can see again with a rare relic, uh, sorry, with a rare piece of gear, I got two rolls on speed. And you can only roll twice on a rare piece of gear, which is why it's important to spend time in the rifts, especially the Phoenix Rift um, for fast heroes, support heroes, so that you can get better rarity of artifacts. Um, but of course, this being a six star artifact, the two rolls on speed are quite good rolls. So I've got a 15 on speed, whereas if this were a five star piece of gear, that those two rolls would maybe have pushed the speed only up to max 12. So it does help to get six star artifacts over five stars, but if it were a, an epic or legendary six star artifact, that would have been even better to give me a better chance of getting good substats. And again, I would have really liked to see an HP percent or a defense percent substat in here. The flat HP and the res are okay, but they're not the best that could exist, let's say. Now we move on to the gloves. And again, so what I don't like about these gloves are they're five-star gloves. And to have a really good build, what you want are six-star gloves. I do like this is an epic relic, so I've got three rolls and they actually all rolled on speed. So this is what I would have considered a year or year and a half ago, a very good piece of gear because it's got a very strong speed substat. But I don't like that it doesn't have um, for example, defense percent, the defense flat is very low. It doesn't have an HP flat. It doesn't have a res. I don't really need accuracy or attack in my particular build for Strybog. He's not removing any buffs or anything like that. And I'm not planning, for example, to put uh, a relic which makes him do a debuff like the staff relic that would make him do silence. I'm not putting that on him, so I don't need accuracy on him. I want speed and tankiness. This is only delivering on the speed. And if we look at the chess piece, again, this is a five star chess piece, and that's really not good enough if I really want this to be a top build. Again, it's an epic piece of gear, and there are two rolls on speed, so this is less good. But if you look at the other steps, that's, this is really terrible, to be honest. I don't need any of the rest. I want HP percent, flat HP, flat defense, res. And this piece of gear is actually truly terrible because it's not good for any type of hero. The only good role on here is speed. Um, if I would use this piece of gear for a hitter, so someone that hits on defense, obviously one advantage is that it's only five stars, not six stars. But also um, it has the crit rate substat and didn't roll on crit rate. So it's not going to give a boost and it doesn't have crit damage. So this is not a piece of gear that should really go on someone who hits. It's a mediocre piece of gear of someone who should be speedy. Um, it's meh for someone who should be speedy and also debuffs, but actually for a hero that would debuff, I would expect to be using curse set to get 
full results. So this is this is a piece of gear I should really unequip and sell if I have better options. And the final piece, this is okay. So this is a five star boot and it's a speed boot. So if I had a six star, the speed would be 43. That's slightly better. Here again, I want to see my HP percent, defense percent. I'm not seeing that. I do have an HP flat, which is pretty good, 600. And the rest is all right as well, but I don't need the attack percent or the crit rate in here. So I would say, you know, this is what happens when you go for one substat and you don't have the gear, sorry, you, when you go for one stat, such as speed, and you don't have the gear that really supports building up the other substats. And that's why when you look at a piece of gear, you want all of the pieces of the jigsaw to come together. And I'm briefly going to show you my good strybog. And by the way, I know a lot of people don't show their real heroes. I don't think actually anyone is going to care enough to look up mine um, before they fight me in arena. So whatever. And here again, you see Swift set. And I've also put a charge set on him. That's to help me with the rifts. I've also put Razak's soul relic on him. And that's going to boost his speed in the fight a bit more. And also help me in the rifts with giving 10 mana to each hero when he goes off. But you can really see the difference between this one and the last one. Because not only is the speed significantly higher, it's in the 380s compared to the 350s. Look at the difference in the HP and the defense. Compared to the other one where the HP was under 30k and the defense was under 3k, I've actually got over 45k HP and over 3k defense. Almost um, 3.5k defense. And that's so much better. Um, I... Can't do the calculation in my head because I'm too lazy and also too slow. But if you... Okay, fine. So the, the other one will work out to uh, less than 90k EHP. And this one will work out to, oh my god, around 15k EHP, very roughly. So you can see that uh, this is why I don't do mental maths. So let's say this dry bog has around 50% um, more EHP than my dry bog 2. And that's obviously a significant difference, right? That means that um, my this dry bog can take kind of... 50% more damage than the other Strybog. And if we look at the individual pieces, you're going to see why. So this is an epic piece I've rolled on speed and HP percent. And that's important. The other subsets are not so good, but I do acknowledge this is a charge piece, so it's, it's difficult to get something good there. I'm really happy with the 14 of speed and the 11% of HP. So to me, this is quite a good piece of gear. Um, the helmet, what you can see is I've got a really high speed, 22. That's kind of incredible. Um, it is a legendary piece of gear. And I know that the crit damage and then the attack subsets are not so good. The res subset is okay. But from the point of view of the speed, this is a really strong subset. And if you compare to the Strybog of before when I had a speed of something around um, 12 to 16 on my subsets, you can see that the 22 is a significant improvement. And we look at the shield. This is probably the best piece of gear that I have in my entire inventory because this is four rolls on speed on a legendary six-star relic. So that is as close as to perfect as I can think of, and that's got a 23 speed. I've got HP percent, defense percent, res percent. So that's, to me, a stellar piece of gear. 
This one is a six star HP glove. So that's a significant boost ahead of a five star glove, obviously. And again, um, it's an epic uh, piece of gear. So I've got three rolls and they're all on speed 20. That's really good. It's also got defense percent, HP flat, and the flat is over 600. So that's amazing. The accuracy um, is not something I really need but I'm not too fussed because I've got three really great substats right there. As for my chest piece, this is probably my weakest piece of gear on this guy. So the thing that I'm looking for here is a six star piece and I've got it for defense. I've got one roll on the speed, the other substats are not so good. So this is one piece that I might swap out if I have the opportunity. And now the boots. So these are speed boots from the charge set. This is really cool. Um, what I really love about this is the four rolls on HP, which is kind of incredible. It gives me a boost of 30%, which is amazing. Um, I do realize I'm supposed to be negative in the, this video, but I can't help it. <laughs> this, is, this is really good gear. Um, so the crit rate, accuracy, damage, these are not the substats I'm looking for. What I would prefer is, you know by now, defense, percent, flat HP, maybe flat defense or res. But I'm really stoked about my 30% boost from this subset, which is incredible because if you look at the set, right? You see life set here. Sorry, I didn't think it would collapse like that. Um, Life set is giving a 15% boost to HP. So actually having this 30% substat on the HP is the same as equipping um, two life sets, right? Four pieces of life gear would give me a 30% boost from the set. And this is why it's so important to get good rolls on good substats because at high enough gear levels at six star gear levels um, that boost can be more than what you get from the set but you do notice that having the set completed having the swift set um, gives me a 15 percent increase in speed right that's gonna be a big boost to my overall speed and having the charge set obviously gives me 35 mana at the start of the turn which you can only have as an effect from the set so there are obviously advantages to keeping the set as well and the struggle and the challenge and the part that's fun obviously is to balance it out between getting the stats you need the substats you need and also the benefits from the sets and i hope kind of that a little bit more in-depth explanation helps you out i know for the gwyn video i didn't get into it as much i just wanted to trash gwyn and destroy her completely if we go back here to my strybog number two you can see again just for comparison how much worse this is again it's not a terrible build but if you compare it to the other one you really see where it's lacking so i think that's it for today and feel free to comment below which hero you want to see next so i have a couple of ideas trigger warning this is my roster um so heroes that i can neg I've got a second Helica, a second Zarkon, a second Nephra that I can trash. Um, I'm not sure who else is terrible, to be honest. But if you, if you see someone interesting, let me know. I've got a second Tessix. I can also um, say bad things about and kind of these heroes on the lower power. They're probably not so good. 
So if you see anyone that you want to know about, let me know. Otherwise, um, it really helps if you like, share, and subscribe. I'm hoping that the gear of Strybog is something that everyone can learn from. So it really helps me reach more people um, if you would share or recommend my videos to someone else. And also maybe fun comment. Um, leave a comment below what is maybe your best piece of gear or your worst piece of gear. Um, or if that's too difficult, let's say, what's one piece of gear that you're looking for? For example, if I look at this dry bog, right, I'm looking for something to replace my five star um, defense percent chest. So what piece of gear would you look for that would really help you in the game right now? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I really have fun making these gear reviews. So keep your eyes peeled for the next one.